In today's video, we're going to look at how you can optimize the title formats of your Squarespace website. Now, as you've probably gathered, it's not the most exciting topic, but it does help with search engine optimization and attracting your ideal clients. So it's definitely a step we want to take. Now, if you're not sure what title formats are, they basically define the page title structure. So whenever we see a link in browser tabs, on social media, or in search engine results, how that link displays is basically the title format. And we want to optimize it because every page on our website is ranked in search. So if we can optimize our title formats, we're going to be ranked for helpful and relevant keywords. And we're also going to be attracting our ideal client because if they see that keyword, they are far more likely to click. For example, if I just show my name as the title of my website, Chloe Forbes Kindlin, it's okay if somebody's searching for that, but if it says Chloe Forbes Kindlin Squarespace templates, they are far more likely to click on it if that is something that they're searching for. So let's head on over to the computer and I'll show you how you can start optimizing your title formats. To change your title formats in Squarespace, go to marketing, SEO, and scroll down and you'll see this SEO title format and we have three buttons up here home pages and items and you'll see the default display for each of these is different so if we come to home we have this percentage s now what this means is display the title of your site so whatever you have as site title that's what it's going to show pages we have percentage p and then percentage s the P stands for the title of your page. So whatever you've named the page, and then we're gonna have a dash, and then it's going to display your site title. So here we've got page, Chloe Forbes Kindlin, but say this was the about page, it would show us about Chloe Forbes Kindlin. For you, this would be whatever you named the site. And then items are things like blog posts, products, events, collection items. We'll see the percentage I means display the title of the item percentage S is a title of your site, but you have some flexibility here. So you could add in here percentage P and what that would do is that would change the title format to display the item name, the page name, and then your site title. So you can play around with this and make it your own. These variables are great because it's gonna pull in a lot of the information for you, but you might decide you want to add something in. So one other thing you can do here, in addition to these variables, is you can add just regular plain text. For example, on my website, instead of it just showing my site title, I might want to add this dash in Squarespace templates. Now, anywhere I share my link, it's also going to add that term. Each time the person sees it, they're going to register. Ah, Chloe sells Squarespace templates. It's very subtle, but it's effective. The key is to pick one small phrase that has keywords in it that you want to rank for. So we don't want to use this space and take advantage of it by stuffing random keywords. That's going to look spammy, but you can change this SEO title format so that it's adding something extra that you want to be ranked for and you want people to register each time you share the link. And again, the same is true for pages and items as well. Now, one final note that I want to make, particularly with pages and items, is to consider the user's experience when setting your title format structure. So we might be inclined to put the site title first here, but if a user has multiple browser tabs open, having the page title shown first can make it a lot easier to navigate between multiple browsers to find the page that they are looking for. Hey, if you like this video, there's a good chance you'll also like this one. 